Hello everyone, I'm Brenda Davis, co-author of Becoming Vegan Express Edition with Vasanto Molina. And today I want to talk a little bit about one of the great myths about uh, calcium. And a lot of people in our culture believe that dairy products are absolutely essential if people are to get enough calcium. And within the last few years, even our national food guides are recognizing that there are other calcium sources. But it, it really defies rationality to think that human beings would require cow's milk for their survival. In fact, if you think about it, the milk of all mammals has a lot of calcium. It doesn't make them essential foods. In fact, a lot of people don't know this, but moose milk and deer milk have about twice as much calcium per cup as cow's milk. And yet we don't consider those essential foods. So it's really important for us to recognize as well that people prior to the advent of using animals for dairy, uh, didn't consume any dairy products and managed to get about 2,000 milligrams of calcium a day. So where did it come from? Well, it came from plants, the very same places that we can get our calcium. And so let's just think about some of the really important calcium sources for vegans because generally most of our nutrition education materials are focused on omnivorous diets and the main source that people are taught are dairy products. So what are the alternative sources? Well, first of all, one of the primary sources of calcium in a vegan diet should be dark green leafy vegetables like kale, napa cabbage, broccoli, and other uh, Chinese greens are wonderful uh, sources of calcium. It's really important to know though that with the dark greens, some dark greens, even though they contain a lot of calcium, we actually can't absorb the calcium from those foods. For example, spinach, beet greens, and Swiss chard contain a lot of oxalic acid, which binds to calcium, making it pretty unavailable for absorption. But the calcium in these dark greens that are somewhat lower in oxalic acid, or some are very low in oxalic acid, uh, we absorb about 40 to 70% of the calcium from those foods. So these are really wonderful sources of calcium. And not only that, but they are great sources of vitamin K, which is also very important to bone health. So what are some of the other sources? Well, a lot of tofu is made with calcium. And so the, the, um, you can read the label and make sure it's made with calcium sulfate. And it usually tells you the percent of the DV that you would get from a serving. So you can take a look at that. And what you want is you want at least 15, 20, 25 percent of the daily value when you're uh, purchasing tofu. Uh, things like edamame and other legumes, soybeans and, and white beans, navy beans, black turtle beans are all relatively good sources of calcium. Uh, tahini and almonds in the sort of nut and seed category are good sources. Uh, as are uh, some grains, and most of the grains that are a little bit richer in calcium are the pseudo-grains like quinoa and amaranth. There is a fair bit, a lot of people don't realize, but an orange has 60 milligrams of calcium. So two oranges, 120 milligrams of calcium, that's pretty good. Five figs has about 150 milligrams of calcium, that's pretty good. Blackstrap molasses, Two tablespoons provides about the same amount of calcium as what people would get from a cup of cow's milk, almost 300 milligrams. So again, that's a really rich source of calcium. And then of course, all the fortified foods, calcium fortified foods, like the uh, soy milks, rice milk, almond milk, hemp milk, that contain added calcium. Most of these products contain about the same amount of calcium as a cup of cow's milk, about 300 milligrams. So there really are a lot of sources of calcium in a vegan diet. The trick is, is we've got to include probably at least five or six or more servings of these foods a day. Nice thing is, is that when you don't eat meat, almost everything you eat provides some calcium. So you're getting little bits throughout the day. In Becoming Vegan Express Edition, we actually have a, a chapter on minerals where we go into a lot more depth on calcium and all of the things you need to know about enhancing absorption of calcium and, and minimizing all of the things that can inhibit the absorption of calcium. So do check out Becoming Vegan Express Edition. 
and learn a lot more about calcium.